Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. The big hello to all the new subscribers and thank you very, very much for subscribing. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button right down there and uh, come along with us. We, uh, we have a lot of fun. We mess with a lot of old outboards, engines, boats, and thingies. Including dinghies. I um, want to say a big happy Independence Day to everybody out there. I hope that you're in good health and spending time with the ones you love. And uh, so, happy Independence Day! Wow. Damn. It's pretty out. And pretty out to me means time for a boat ride. So, I've just been itching, itching. to take that DT-40 Suzuki for a boat ride. Do you know which one? Which one? That one. So, I've been just itching to get that thing out there and make sure that lower unit is okay. Make sure she shifts forward, reverse, and don't jump out of gear or anything. So. That's what I want to do. I want to take that and I want to get out on that water and see how that thing's going to do. But there's only one requirement. You have to come with me. So how about you say let's all hop in that boat and go for a boat ride. Let's go. Comes a salmon saner in. Here comes a sport boat in. this moon. There's a no wake zone in here.
think I need to adjust the uh, low jet setting on this guy a little bit. See what this old Suzuki is about. Get my camera set up. Oh. right there. I don't know if you can see him. But...
it's a sea otter. Eating up all the crab. Eating up all the cod. He's got a big old clam in his paws right now. Let's see what this old Suzuki's about. Get my camera set up. Oh.
Now if you think abuse is only done to Johnson and Evanrude's, think again. Looky there. Isn't she lovely? The Swing and Mercury. I don't own this one yet, but I hope to get it. Because I want that tilt unit out of it. That hydraulic steering there would be nice too. I don't know if that's hydraulic, but the steering unit, regardless. But there's a little outboard abuse. Mercury. Not so classic 50. <laughs> now I took the bowl off this first one and I was shocked it is actually quite clean now it stinks it smells like old old gas but I was thoroughly impressed at what it looked like inside not it bad at all so that be that one the top carbonator let's take this other one off this should be the bottom <laughs> Let's take it off. Took out my whole bit. Apparently it's not the snap-on kind of bit. So, let's take this one off. See what we got. Don't have to tap them or nothing. Now this one's a little more, ugh, that smell. What I was expecting. If you look right down in here, that's what I was expecting more of. More of that yuck. It's in there pretty good too. See that? Yeah, so that's what I was expecting more of. And if you look, look in the different colors. Look at the different colors of the floats. You see that? This one's kind of white. This one's all yellow looking. Okay. So. Why? And things are so hard to get out of there. If I can get these out of here, get them moving anyway. Don't want to go that way. How about this way? Thank you for the new sink attachments. Huh? Thanks for the new sink attachments upstairs in the kitchen. Oh, well, didn't have a choice. There we go. Um, did Eric come by and pick up this motor? didn't have too much luck today but a buddy of mine did and so he brought me a couple of beautiful beautiful black sea bass so 
we got to get filleting them beauties. Yeah. That's beautiful stuff here. So, whoops. There we go. Cut down like that. And we cut up that bed. Like so. Like that. Oh, then right down that backbone. Well, as soon as I get that out of there. Boom. Same procedure on this side. that collar unhooked and you you need to wear these uh, fillet gloves these mesh when you're doing these because they've got these barbs on the gills right here see them suckers they've got them and they've got these spines here they got some spines here and if you get poked with that it's almost like poison well I guess it is a poison some people have gone into anaphylactic shock with it So, I wear these here metal mesh gloves, you understand. And then, I don't have to worry about that. So, now we take off the rib bones, which can be a little tough, a little harder than salmon. Then, okay, we take off the other side of the flesh, of the skin, rather. Come here, you. There we go. I think. And... There we have a nice fillet. Same thing with this guy. Take off that rib cage. Like such. And then take off that beautiful Fillet. And there's another fillet. So, there's another one, just like the other one. These things are tough as nails sometimes. I'm going to get my charaded, charaded one. Doesn't look better on them. There we go. Alrighty, well, you get the idea. Fillet the fish, clean the fish, rinse the fish, eat the fish. Alrighty, alrighty. My gloves up there. Get them nice and dry in the sun. Shine. My bag's over here in the bowl. Clean off everything. Water my plants while I'm at it, my little pretty flowers. Here's my fillet. Beautiful fresh sea bass. Boneless. 
I'll trim them up. That'll make fish and or chips. So which one do you want? The fish or the chips? How about both? We'll do both. All righty. Mass is cleaned up. Put them in the baggie. The double baggie. Put them in the bowl. There we go. Fresh sea bass. Yummy. Well, I noticed some things when I put the carb on it. See this? Venturi thing here, it's all kind of crooked. Well, the plastic thing that holds it down straight is broke. And then I'm getting some leakage out of this overflow vent here, which means the needle is not seating in there right. Um, and on this carburetor, I noticed even after I tightened down the seat for the needle, it wobbled a little bit. So I think I got some issues with this carburetor. But, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. I don't have a kill switch. I don't have my electric choke hooked up. Let's see. So essentially, it's kind of running on the one carb. That carb, the overflow vent's leaking. You can see right now it's leaking gas out of there. There's nothing coming up through the emulsion tube. This Venturi jet's broke. So that top carburetor's got issues, and I don't believe I have another one because I've never had one of these three-cylinder, two carbs come in. So I'll first look at a carb kit and see what I get. But, uh, yeah, this carb's got a lot of issues. But, hey, for 50 bucks it runs. It don't run great yet. But, it does run. The emulsion tube may be plugged. There's nothing coming up through the Venturi, but yet I can see it doing that on the bottom one. Nothing on the top. But, uh, yeah, we've got some issues. So I'm going to have to pull that top carb. I didn't button everything up because I tell you what, these Mercs, they are, well, let's say, a little more difficult than most. I mean, even this. Manuel choke, which I didn't even check work. Let's see if that works. Um, that manual choke even um, is is a a wire affair. I also noticed my butterfly on a or my yeah the the cam roller on the butterfly that goes through that top card is all sticky, and that's after being cleaned ultrasonically and everything else. So um, yeah, let's see if the choke will choke it out.
the manual choke. It works, so I hooked it up right. <laughs> So I hooked that old wiry choke up, but yeah, that top carb is going to have to come back off. Uh, yeah, you can see this is all kitty wump in there. It, it ain't right. I don't know what's going on, but I have to find me a, a parts carburetor or something. Yummy. Mm. Yummy. Don't that look just beautiful? Oh yeah. It's good. Ooh wee. The beautiful smoke. Sockeye salmon, fresh out the Pacific Ocean. That's what I said. The Pacific Ocean. Ain't that pretty? More vids are a coming on Inside Out Boards with your host, Cody Bass.